T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Veos, and today I'm going to try to make this a real quick episode. Um, let's see. It was recently brought to my attention that maybe I should go ahead and try my hand at flying helicopters. And of course, this required downloading a mod, and, and well, there are plenty of good mods out there for helicopters, but I wanted to see if I could make my own out of stock parts and so far this is what I wanted to show you here we are now I know it looks like it uh, won't work at all and <laughs> trust me it took all day to figure out how to make this engine work properly without falling apart the um, some of the YouTube videos that I looked at used a combination of wheels and gears but they were kind of large and they took up a lot of space so I tried my hand at pushing the limit to how far you could squeeze these into a smaller tighter space and it seems to work nicely okay and let's see here and of course instead of having huge wings that go out like a freaking mile in order to create lift when you turn the um, when you turn the propeller or prop or whatever you call it I went ahead and just put a crap ton of these little control surfaces on here that have lift ratings on them and put them on those long long uh, kind of curved looking wings so that the uh, propeller itself can be smaller and it does work so I went ahead and I took this part tweaked it up a little bit more and I put it in the sub assemblies and I took it over to the airplane hangar bay or space plane hangar bay there you go and as you can see I kind of built a body around the actual uh, helicopter engine itself went ahead and took the smaller rockets from the propellers and replaced them with these larger ones at the base put a whole bunch of stability control um, doohickeys reaction wheels in the front and in the sides because it is very you know well it's a spinning object inside of another object it's kind of going to be very unstable um, right now the problem that I have here is just trying to move forward I can put all these rockets on full blast and the thing won't barely budge an inch forward until I actually move downwards allowing the propellers to pull the aircraft forward so these rockets are pretty much just for show they don't do a whole lot in moving the aircraft forward it's still in its very 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 early testing phases but compared to what I um, started out with and tweaked and tweaked and tweaked and tweaked and tweaked it's um, a far cry from the horribly unstable wobbly blow up on the um, on the on the runway kind of machine so let's go ahead and take it out for a spin oh well that's its poor brother that blew up Alright, as you can... Oh, crap. What are you guys doing in there? Okay, fine. Enjoy the ride. <laughs> oh, dear. Alright, so as you can see, it's a little wobbly. That's okay. Right now, we're in control of the actual hel helicopter engine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the gears in. And then I'm going to hit the zero key, which un unlatches it from the air docking doohickey. Okay, now I'm going to bring the gears back up, and it's going to nestle itself nice and firmly and tightly inside this uh, hollow object. Alright, now I'm going to 
bring the throttle up full blast and as I hit spacebar I want to switch over to the other craft and hit the SS SAS as soon as I can ready and which one is it? Is it this one? Good. Go. SAS. Now as you can tell there's no rocket assistance for this for lifting the craft. The rockets are pointed crap. Um yeah, another thing about this craft is that because it's very experimental, uh I have to use infinite fuel for it to actually work at all. That's pretty cool, it just kind of floats down. And no, just to give you a look, see? Yep, hack gravity is not activated. If I was to activate it, it would ask me to unactivate it. So, there we go. Gravity is not activated. But we will use infinite fuel, so here we go. For testing purposes only. And, uh, well, here's me trying to fly it. <laughs> Enjoy. Wow, I actually made it. Took about 20 minutes though. Of course, you guys didn't see that. I sped it up to about 400%. But hey, these little guys made it. A highly dangerous, highly experimental helicopter. <laughs> oh boy, why do I do these things? Um, if you want me to put it on download for you, uh, I, I most certainly, most happily will. But just a um, word to the wise, it ex is extremely unstable, and it took a very long time to figure out how to fly it. It is uber slow, and it needs a lot of work. So, yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I am Veos, signing off.